Now, in this video, I'm going to show you how to complete the chorus and bridge sections of your song, and also how to use the uh, zoom slider uh, to help you do this. So, for my chorus section, I'm going to open up my loop library again, and I'm going to go back to all drums, and this time, I'm going to scroll down. Finally, okay, here we go. So from here, I'm going to get a contrasting uh, drum loop. So I'm going to use the Get Low Beat 2. And it has the same name as the loop from the verse, but it doesn't necessarily have to. Uh, okay, so that's my Get Low. Now, I can also, my cycle bar, if I put my cursor in the middle and it shows up this little hand, I can click on it and move it over here to the chorus. So now, as I listen to, I can hear just the drums in the chorus as I try out other loops to add to it. So I hit my reset button. I'm going to go to bass. And for my bass loops, see if I can find my favorites. Okay, let's see. So I'm going to click, drag that one over, I'm going to reset, go to my synth loops. And I'm going to use this one. So I'll click and drag. And then I'll reset to go to my guitar loops. So I think I'm going to use this one. So now I have my chorus completed. Now, so to finish my chorus, I'm going to again click and drag to select all tracks. And then I'm going to hold my option key, click, drag, and drop. Now all I need to do is copy this chorus into my other chorus sections. Now, one of the things I can do that makes this a little easier and quicker is up here in the upper right hand corner, I have a focus, um, I'm sorry, a zoom slider. So I can zoom out so I can see all of my chorus sections now. Okay, so with this, I can now click and drag this entire chorus section, hold down my option key, click, drag, drop. And I'm going to do this again for the chorus section here, and then finally for the outro there. So now you can see I've got my song almost completed. I have different loops for the chorus than the verse. Everything's lining up with the grids pretty well. So all I need to do now is come finish the bridge. So I'm going to zoom back out. Go to my loops library again, reset, go back to my drum loops. I have to scroll down because there are a lot of eight count loops until I get to my 16s. And so now I'm going to use the last get low beat. 
at row four. Again, these titles are matching on the drum loops. You don't have to do it that way, but it kind of helps. Um, it keeps the music similar while giving some variety to the sections. So, and again, I just clicked and moved my cycle bar so I can work in the bridge. Okay, so I like that bass. I'm going to drop it in, reset, sense. And I can listen to some different simple like that one. So I'm going to add this in. Reset. Guitars. And again, I'm careful to make sure everything's lining up. So finally, I'm going to click and drag across all of these. Again, hold my Option key, click, drag, make sure it's carefully lined up, and then drop. So now, if I close that and I zoom out again, I can see that my song is now completed. Intro, verse, chorus, verse 2, chorus, bridge, chorus and outro. In the next video I'm going to show you how to add a fade out and a fade in to put the final touches on your project.